back to my channel and back to my kitchen. So today I have another spring cleaning video for you guys. Today we are going to be organizing and cleaning out my kitchen cabinets, or at least the ones on the bottom. The ones that hold like my pots and pans and things like that because they are just, they're a little bit of a mess. Um, quite disorganized to tell you the truth. I can hardly ever find where anything is. If you guys are new here, my name's Shauna. I make mommy lifestyle and weight loss journey videos. If that sounds like something that interests you, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below because we would love to have you join the fam. So you guys, this video is actually a collaboration with a lot of other moms here on YouTube. I'm really excited to be sharing it with you guys. There is a playlist linked down below. I knew I had some spring cleaning that needed to get done this year. So I reached out to a bunch of other moms to see if anybody else had some spring cleaning they wanted to do as well. And a few other moms picked me up on this offer. So we all created a playlist down below. Make sure you check that out when you're done watching my video. Without further ado, you guys, let's jump into the video and let me show you how I am organizing and cleaning out my kitchen cabinet. So here is what my cabinets look like before. They're not too bad. They're just cluttered and unorganized and there's just pots and pans everywhere. So I just need to refresh it. First thing I did was lay a sheet out on the floor so that the appliances and pots and pans and things wouldn't get dirty. And then I just literally pulled everything out of my cabinets and stacked it up so I could organize and see what all I had and where all it needed to go. This is all of my pots, pans, and kitchens, kitchen appliances that were stored in my lower cabinets. And here are the cabinets. They're pretty large cabinets, luckily. Now they are all empty and just ready to be cleaned. So next, I just took a multi-purpose cleaner and a kitchen rag, and I just wiped out the insides of all the cabinets. And I also wiped out the off the outside of them as well because there was just spills and gunk all over the outside. I was a little surprised at how dirty the inside of my cabinets were, but I guess we've lived here about a year and a half and I've never really cleaned out the inside of them, so I guess it makes sense that food and dust and gunk would build up in there. How often do y'all clean your cabinets out? Because we've only ever lived in apartments before this and never lived anywhere more than a year, so it's never something I really thought about needing to do. But now that we own a home, I guess that's something that you kind of need to do regularly. So let me know in the comments down below, how often do y'all clean out your cabinets and actually like wipe everything down? Now onto the fun stuff, the actual organization. So in this cabinet, I decided to put all of our like cookie sheets and pans and things like that, our pizza pan. And then I also decided to put my crock pot in this cabinet because this is the counter. Above this cabinet is the counter that I use when I'm using my crock pot. So it's where I plug it in. So I thought that would be handy to have there as well. cabinet is going to have like all my pots and like my saucepans and things like that. This 
cabinet has some miscellaneous items that we don't use that often, like our coffee maker, our waffle maker, our toaster, a wok that we have, a food processor, and a George Foreman grill. Just things we don't use that often. This is our very last cabinet, you guys. We're almost there. So this is mainly my KitchenAid cabinet. So in this cabinet, I keep an attachment for my KitchenAid. It's a food processor attachment. I also keep some random baby stuff that we just don't use anymore, like the drying rack and the little thing that goes in the dishwasher. And then my actual KitchenAid will stay in here. And then also on the top shelf, I'll put some accessories that I have for my KitchenAid. And that's all those will stay. And that's it for this cabinet. And here it is, you guys, we are done. We have done all four of my lower cabinets that hold my kitchen appliances and pots and pans. And I think they look great. I can find everything so easily. It's all organized and pretty. That is it. It actually was a little bit easier than I thought it would was going to be. I thought this was going to be a very long and drawn out process, but once I got everything out on the floor and started organizing it, I actually knew where to put things away pretty quickly. And turns out there's a ton of space left in my cabinets that I didn't even know was there. So I'm really excited about that. It just means I need more stuff, right? <laughs> I bet my husband would disagree. Anyways, you guys, again, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button because we'd love to have you join the fam. And don't forget to check out the other ladies in the playlist down below because I am sure they had amazing makeovers in their kitchens as well. We'll see you guys next time.